The gravimetric analysis is to determine the nickel content in hexaimine nickel tetrafluoroborate. The sinters to be used in gravimetric analysis have been dried for several days in a hot oven to exclude any moisture. Using tongs, place a hot sinter into a desiccator and allow to cool. Then weigh accurately to four figs until the sinter is at constant weight. A Buckner funnel and filter could be used to filter the nickel complex, but it would be almost impossible to dry to constant weight, so a glass sinter is used. Never handle the sinter with hands. Use tongs, as grease from the fingers will add weight to the sinter. Add water to your nickel sample. And place on a steam bath. Decant concentrated acid into a small labelled beaker and add to your solution. It is important when using concentrated acids that gloves are worn. Mix the compounds together and put back onto the steam bath. Wash any pipettes that have had conch acid in them with water and then place in a glass bin. Warm the solution on a steam bath and carefully add 25 ml of a 1% alcoholic dimethylgloxine solution. followed by the addition of approximately 30 ml of 2 molar ammonium hydroxide. Leave the red precipitate for about 30 minutes, then add a further 50 ml of ammonium hydroxide. Take off the water bath and allow to cool. Remove the sinter from the desiccator with the tongs and put into a gooch funnel. Turn the vacuum on and filter the nickel complex. Do not fill more than half of the sinter. The beaker is cleaned by adding a few mils of deionized water and rubbing the sides vigorously with a rubber policeman. All the coloured nickel complex must be transferred from the beaker to the sinter. This is known as a quantitative transfer. Finally, wash the complex with deionized water until all the chloride has been removed. It is important to do this as the chloride will add unwanted weight to the complex. Tests for the chloride ion can be found in the qualitative version of Vogel. Remove the sinter from the gooch funnel and put into a hot oven overnight. Do not touch the sinter with your hands. Gravimetric analysis are normally done in duplicate. However, time restraints make this impossible. Your experimental results should be plus or minus 3% of the theoretical yield. The complex can be dried in a hot oven as it is thermally stable. 